Hi everyone, Steve Cagle from Midwest Millers. We're here today to show you how to disassemble, clean, and reassemble the semi-automatic filler we have today. First step on the automatic filler to disassemble it is to remove this funnel on the bottom. The reason you have to remove the funnel, and I'll tip it up and show you in a second, is there is a spinner plate under there that has to be removed in order for us to open this up. So the first step is to redo, take all these screws loose. There's three of them. Pull this funnel off, set it aside. Now note that it takes no wrenches to disassemble and reassemble this. Everything is done by thumb screws or wing nuts. Now I'm going to set this up. And as you can see right here, can you see that? There is a spinner plate. You, re, you loosen that thumb screw and remove that spinner plate. Now what that allows us to do, allows us to move everything up. But now these two, adjust this around a little bit so you can see the back, what I'm doing here. Get these two screws here and these two screws right here. I'm going to loosen these two screws. Push these screws in. And you can lift this whole thing up. Tighten that one screw back down. Get them over here. These screws, this whole thing slides off, set that aside, inside which you cannot see, I, can't, I think I can get enough, this comes apart, now we have the final assembly, loosen this, through. That comes off. Loosen this screw. That comes apart. Loosen this. That comes apart. Everything is completely torn apart now. Ready for cleaning and reassembly. Now, to reassemble, just go backwards. Put this together. Push this up, make sure it's all the way up there. Tighten this clockwise. Hold this upper piece, snug it down real tight. Bring this up. Line this up with this hole. Snug that down. That's a cover plate there to stop all the dust, all your product, the dust from your product from coming up into the, uh, into the chuck there. Now this piece right here, you need to loosen these nuts and raise this up. I'll show you in a minute. That's to adjust that. Adjust that back down to the hopper. Put this back on. Push it in as far as it goes. There's a flat right here. Tighten this down. Snug this down on the flat. Good and snug. At this point in time, we need to put the hopper back in place. So go the hopper. Put the hopper back in place, set it into, into that slot. Now, loosen this nut again and lower this. Make sure the uh, auger stays in the center of the hopper. Pull this down and it locks into this groove. Hold it down, tighten these nuts back down, finger tight. Nothing has to be overly tight. Tighten it down finger tight. Okay, making sure that the auger is flush with the bottom of this. That's how to make sure it's aligned properly. This slides right back on here. Inside here, this little ledge right here needs to be flush with this piece right here. That's very important. We put that back in with your finger till you can feel that it's flush. Rotate this around. 
So this is in the back just so it's out of your way. It doesn't matter. It can be anywhere on there when you snug it down. Snug these down. Take your funnel, put it back in. Now what you noted, let me uh, uh, share with you, I did not put the spinner plate back on. The majority of the products out there you will not need the spinner plate. The spinner plate is only for free flowing product. So I did not put the spinner plate back on because we are getting ready to uh, uh, test this with the next video. But now, with non-free flowing product, you're ready to go. If you have a free flowing product, you take this back out. And my spinner plate, which is right here, you put this spinner plate in. I'm going to go ahead and remove this to show you how to assemble a spinner plate because it is very important that the spinner plate be assembled correctly. The bottom of the auger flush with the bottom of this. Bring this up to the bottom of the auger. There is a flat on there. I'm in the flat. The bottom of the auger flush with the bottom of this. This leaves about a quarter inch gap right here. That's how much of a gap you need to get the free flowing product to come through, come out of there. But this has to be on before you put that in place. Because this will not, will not go through that. So put this back in place. And then you would put your spinner plate back on. In this case, we're not going to. There it is. No wrenches. Everything has been taken apart and reassembled.